welcome back to my channel so today's video is from praga you it's a short history of slavery this was presented by and they own candice owens of course so you're about to expect candice will not sugar coat or water than anything she would say that it's hard so let's check out the video guys and now for a brief history of slavery here's the first thing you need to know Slavery was not invented by white people. It did not start in 1619 when the first slaves came to Jamestown. It existed before then. It did not start in 1492 when Columbus discovered the New World. In fact, when the intrepid explorer landed in the Bahamas, the native Taino tribe hoped that he would help them defeat their aggressive neighbors, the Caribs. The Caribs enslaved the Taino and, on occasion, served them for dinner. Slavery existed in Africa, Asia, and the Middle East. The word slave actually comes from the Slavs of Eastern Europe. Millions of them, all white by the way, were captured and enslaved by Muslims in the 9th century and later by the Ottoman Turks. Slavery existed when the Roman Empire controlled the Mediterranean and most of Europe from the 1st through the 5th centuries. Slavery existed when Alexander the Great conquered Persia in the 4th century BC. It was so common that Aristotle simply considered it natural. The slave master model was just how the world operated in the great philosopher's day. Slavery existed during the time of the ancient Egyptians 5,000 years ago. As far back as we can go in human history, we find slavery. As renowned historian John Steele Gordon notes from Time Immemorial, slaves were a major item of commerce. As much as a third of the population of the ancient world was enslaved. Here's the second thing you need to know. White people were the first to formally put an end to slavery. In 1833, Britain was the first country in the history of the world to pass a slavery abolition act. They were quickly followed by France, who in 1848 abolished slavery in her many colonies. Then, of course, came the 13th Amendment in the United States Constitution. After centuries of human slavery, white men led the world in putting an end to the abhorrent practice. That includes the 300,000 Union soldiers, overwhelmingly white, who died during the Civil War. Now, am I saying that this makes white people better than anyone else? Of course not. My purpose here is to simply tell the truth, and the truth is that human history is complicated. No one, regardless of skin color, stands guiltless. Yet today, we are never told to consider the murderous Persian Empire or the cannibalism of indigenous tribes of North and South America or the heinous actions under the imperialistic Muslim, Chinese, Mongol, or Japanese empires, to name just a few. Instead, we're told that slavery is a white phenomenon. And like all persistent lies, this lie spawns a bunch of other lies. On social media, I come across extraordinary depictions about how Africans lived like pharaohs before Europeans came and laid waste to their paradise. I wish any of this were true, but it's not. It's a fantasy. The truth is that Africans were sold into slavery by other black Africans, and in many cases, sold for items as trivial as gin and mirrors. Whites didn't go into the interior and round up the natives. They waited on the coast for their black partners to bring them black bodies. The stark reality is that our lives had very little value to our ancestors. Here's the third thing you need to know. If you think slavery is a relic of the past, you're wrong. There are some 700,000 slaves in Africa today, right now. That's the lowest estimate that I could find. Other sources say there are many more. For context, that's almost twice as many slaves as were ever brought to the United States. Child soldiers, human trafficking, forced labor, these are the conditions that currently exist within the same sub-Saharan region where the transatlantic slave trade originated. African bodies are being sold today like they were sold then, and no, they are not being purchased by any country of white men. In fact, slavery, by any traditional definition, is exclusively practiced today within non-white countries. 
but we hear almost nothing about that. Just like we hear nothing about how slavery was universal until good people in Europe and America ended it two centuries ago. Why? Because our so-called leaders, black and white, wouldn't profit from it. Black victimhood is nothing if not profitable. It elects politicians and funds racial grievance groups. And if black Americans began to view themselves as partners in the American dream, if we embraced the patriotic spirit that holds all men are created equal, the patriotic spirit that is our real heritage, then the race hustlers would soon be out of business. And who wants that? I'm Candace Owens, author of Blackout for Prager University. Thank you for watching this video. To keep PragerU videos- Guys, this is so apt and I for one like the fact that it was done by a black woman. Yes. So um, if, this was, if this was done by a white public figure, it, it would have become another thing entirely. So I love the fact that it was done by Candice Owens. Of course, we didn't know that Candice Owens is a woman that likes to call things the way they are. And it's not as if um, people, and the thing is that people actually know this. Okay, there again, I don't think most people know. There, there are people that actually know the truth, but they are hiding under the umbrella of having the interests of the blacks in mind. That is why they're fighting the cause for the black Americans so that they will get whatever it is that they want to get. Those who are asking for reparations, guys, why do you want to be paid reparation? Why? Were you once a slave? Can you show us proof that your parents or your forefathers were once a slave? Even if they were, why why should you be the one to get the reparation? I don't understand. Like That's the part I don't understand. Why should you be paid reparations? And where would that reparations come from? Is it that to come from tax paying people? Because it's not everyone that pay tax in America. And like I keep saying, why is it that is a group of people that actually indeed ended the slavery that you want them to pay you reparations? It doesn't make sense. I'm not. I'm not disputing the fact that they actually traded in. in they're actually part of the slave trade. And come on, guys, is a is a common known knowledge. Slavery was. Was a form of trade in the olden days, so it was not secluded to to the whites. No, even in Africa, which is why people used to come down to Africa and buy slaves, because they were part of the they were part of that trade. They were, were welcomed, in, and if, let me know, let me even tell you, Africans were even the ones that did the most uh, selling. They were they were sold. By their own people, do you get child to be sleeping in the night and the and the, the parents will, you know, sell them out, sell out. So it's the way the way they made it all look as if it was the white people that invented a uh, slave trade. They the one that did the hideous things that the rest of the world they are they are, they are innocent of it. So it was just the white men alone. That were that were involved in slave trade, guys. No, so let me. I don't be saying this. If your African brothers are given opportunity again, they will sell you and clean out. Like my people say, oh my, they go chop and clean out. Eh? Why is it that nobody is? I've not seen. I've not seen any video. Even all those activists, I've not seen any video. I've not heard anybody. Talking about holding our Africa accountable for selling their bread, because Black Americans are the ones, are the ones crying for all this more than every other person. They forget that even they forget that even the Irish, they were once slaves. They forget that like every other tribe were once a slave. So why is it that it's only the Black part? Why is it that it's only that part that everybody is focusing on? Why have we ever sat down to ask ourselves why? Why? There's a reason why people are doing that and are championing it and focusing on that and trying to eliminate it. So I now look at it. Yes, indeed, they're the only ones that, that, that will ever experience slavery. Oh, guys, let me know your thoughts in the comment section. Don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. And take care of yourself. Be you, do you, but do not conform, guys. And be good. Bye, guys.